Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from the previous math competitions that we had. This problem is kind of common in different math competitions. So we are going to talk about that here in this video. We have a composite function. We have f of f of x equals to x squared minus x plus one. And we know that f is a function from real numbers to real numbers. Here, what we are going to find is f of zero. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this interesting problem. We are going to see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, remember, we are going to find f of zero. So the first thing that we are going to find is what happens if we start with using x is equal to zero. Obviously, if we put zero for x, then on the left hand side, we are going to have f of f of zero. And on the right hand side, we are going to end up with one. Since we see one here, the next thing that we are going to try is to understand what happens if we use x is equal to 1. If we do this, then we will end up with f of f of 1 is basically 1. Now with all these, what we are going to do to find f of 0? I'm going to apply another function f on both sides. If we do this, we are going to have f of f of f of x on the left hand side and then for the right hand side instead of having x we need to have f of x so basically we will have f of x to the power of 2 minus f of x plus 1 now we have two interesting things to try the first thing is we know f of f of 0 is equal to 1 so if we replace f of f of 0 on the top equation that we have here on the left hand side we will end up with f of 1 and on the right hand side we are going to use x equals to 0 so we will have f of 0 to the power of 2 minus f of 0 plus 1 here everything is interesting we have f of 0 the thing that we wanted to find unfortunately we don't know what we have for f of 1 so the next thing that we are going to do is to try to find f of 1 but how we do this? Let's review what we have so far. We have f of f of 0, we have f of f of 1, and remember, we found f of 0 based on f of 1. So now I'm going to use x is equal to 1, and we know that f of f of 1 is basically 1. So the left hand side is going to be just f of 1, and on the right hand side, we are going to have f of 1 to the power of 2 minus f of 1 plus 1. So in this green equation that you are seeing here, we only have f of 1, nothing else, and we can find f of 1 easily. Let's do that now. I'm going to simplify the equation that we just found. I'm going to write it as f of 1 to the power of 2 minus 2 times f of 1 plus 1 is 0. And we can say that f of 1 is basically 1. With that, now 
it's easy to find f of 0. Let's do that in a few seconds. To do this, we are going to use 1 for f of 1, and here the unknown variable is f of 0. If we simplify it, it basically means that f of 0 is going to be 0 or 1. Of course, we need to verify which one is the case here. Is it possible to have both cases or one of them is going to be the case here? Let's start with f of 0 is equal to 0. If we apply another f, f of, f of 0 is going to be f of 0. And remember, we already know that f of 0 is 0. However, we also know that f of f of 0 is basically 1. And this is a contradiction. So this case is not acceptable. Now let's try f of 0 is 1. Then f of f of 0 is going to be f of 1. And we can say that f of 1 is basically 1. And we already saw that f of f of 0 is 1 as well. So this case is acceptable. And that concludes our solution. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the Security Channel. I hope to see you in the next video.